Welcome to the new fun park and our hometown. Today we're headed to the mud bog and this thing is absolutely insane. So we're going to go grab some ATVs and get this thing going. And here they are. We've got a lot to choose from today. We've got a Polaris, we've got a Can-Am, and these vehicles should be more than capable of going through this mud bog drag strip, we should call it. I think that's the best thing to describe it as because it's basically a long strip of mud and water and it's going to be pretty tough on these off-road vehicles so yeah i'm excited we just bought this general 1000 got some uh, off-road tires on there upgraded suspension we've got this uh, little atv this thing's pretty sweet and then we've also got the upgraded one the can-am renegade i mean look at the difference here's your average four-wheeler and here's your upgraded one this thing looks insane we got snorkels on it this one's probably gonna fail but we just want to see how much better and how much difference there is when you put giant tires and snorkels on one so uh yeah we're gonna go grab the truck we'll head on over pick these things up and then head to the mud pit drag strip all right boys we got the f450 you know we're gonna roll in style today we've got the all red setup and then all of the new toys are gonna be in all red too so it's all a color theme again this is kind of like the theme for our new mansion if you guys didn't see last episode we have moved out of elm creek we moved on to a new city grim rock ridge and this is just a fantastic city there's so many businesses lots of new restaurants and new business opportunity like car washes there's even a menards across the street maybe we buy that and run that there's a lot of options here so let's head on over to the shop pick up those vehicles and then we'll be heading to the new mud bog and I would say an even better feature of living in this town so far is people walk everywhere. As you can see, there's people walking there. There's people walking up here. And the best part about it is there's minimal traffic. It's a really high residential area. You know, lots of families. So they're all kind of at home. They're not roaming the streets. So that's nice too. Low traffic. And here's the shop up here. They've also got a John Deere dealership. Check that thing out. Lots of tractors and cool stuff. But, uh, you know, we're going to do the more fun stuff, I should say. There we go. Let's get the ramps down on the trailer. We actually got another PJ trailer. If you can tell, this one's about a little bit smaller. This should fit all the vehicles here. Let's fire this bad boy up. Get the red halos on the front, as you can see. This thing's ready to roll, boys. Here we go. We're going to back it on the trailer because we're going to have to adjust the uh, placement of these. It's going to be a little bit difficult. As you can see, we're going to have to angle this one. Uh, oh, no. Don't drive off the trailer. Okay. I think that might be good. When we do get there, we can drive off the trailer. So we'll strap that down. Next up is going to be the four-wheeler. And then the general will be last. And this thing, this is a pretty quick little four-wheeler, as you can see. Very simple. You got your throttle and your brake. That's it. This thing's quick, man. Look at this thing go. Oh, my gosh. Once you get it going, it screams, too. It's got a 1.2 liter engine or something. So it's definitely a lot bigger than most four-wheeler engines. Look at that exhaust pipe on the back. So here we go. It might be like 450cc or something crazy. I'm not sure. All right. We'll strap this down. Oh, yeah. We got plenty of space for the general. This is probably going to be the coolest one. But it might get stuck the easiest because it doesn't have a ton of ground clearance like the lifted ATV does. So this one's probably going to fail. Honestly, I think that other small four-wheeler might do better. So that's kind of crazy. Let's back it on. And right there. Perfect. All right, boys. We're going to head to the fun park, we shall call it, and have ourselves a day. So if you guys are excited and you're ready for today's mudding video, make sure to get subscribed to the channel and drop a like if you haven't already. I'll meet you guys at the fun park. All right, chat, we're getting pretty close here. We're going across the bridge, as you can see, and we're entering the fun park. I mean, check it out over here. So it's called Grim Rock County Raceway. Uh, there's a couple of other cool things here. There's like obviously a drag strip. There's also a tractor pull, truck pull, a little bit of everything. As you can see, there's a motocross track over there. So we might be able to rip the ATVs on it, but they might lock it down to just dirt bikes. So we'll have to find that out. Here's all the sponsors for the race events, which is pretty sweet. And then, yeah, over here, we've got the tractor pull. And then the other side of that, it should be the drag strip mudding thing. I, I don't know. It's over there. Hold on. We got to back up, boys. We get a little bit further of a distance. It's on the other side. This is all tractor pull right here, which is pretty crazy. Uh, let's actually give a little tour of this place because we're going to be here a little bit more than you think. Uh, I do have to say these roads are a little bit tight for, you know, racetrack and all the racing teams to get semi trucks through. Oh, hold on. I got to show you guys this. This is pretty sweet. It's a full oval racetrack like nascar i think they do dirt track racing here and they also use those things called sprint cars so those are pretty sweet you can like drift them on an angle we might actually have to get some of those and uh race our buddies but anyhow let's head over here this should lead us there eventually over on the left as you can see it's the whole drag strip oh my gosh i can't stop looking at this stuff it's so cool perfectly paved it's all even and it's about a quarter mile drag strip so plenty of space to hit 150 miles an hour and then you got to slow down and this is definitely a sidewalk but i do not know how to get to this place so we'll find out eventually oh my gosh that's tight all right it's over there i'll meet you there 
All right. And then one more thing that we have to do is when we get here, we do have to park everything at the racing garages. So you're not allowed to bring trailers and trucks to the main areas. Uh, What are we getting stuck on here? Hold on. There we go. But what I was saying is you have to leave everything in the parking lot because they have plenty of space for us. You can see there's a giant parking lot there. And then over here, you get a vendor parking lot, which is pretty cool. And it comes with fuel pumps. So it's got free fuel. Obviously, it comes with the charge of using the track. And check out all these garages. These are awesome. Let's actually go inside of one. I think this one is the model unit. Should be unlocked. There we go. So your crew and everyone involved is going to have, we'll just say, enough stuff to get work done. You know, you can definitely have all the tools you need. And there's always stuff to be worked on, like I said. So, you know, you'll have all the tools to get the job done and fix the cars for the race. You know, because sometimes teams only have two cars. And it might be an unlucky day. They lose both the cars. So, it's very interesting. Let's unload over here. And then we should be right next to the spot. So we'll park it right here. Unload all the toys. Nice to have the players general. We can kind of explore around. This is awesome. Here we go. Drive it off. All right. And there we are. Nice. It's super close. So this is going to be good if we ever do any mud races. As you can see, you and your friend line up. We did not bring anybody with us. And then there's a start button right there. Let's test this out. Ready? So click it here. Attention to start. Oh, there we go. There's the yellow. Second yellow. Third yellow. And green means go. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. We're sinking it. We're sinking it. It's still going. We're flooding the engine. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. I like what we're seeing here. We've also got two sides, obviously, because you're going to be going against an opponent, but we're kind of just testing it out. Oh my gosh. Don't take this route back. I think you got to go around the entire stands and everything. Let's get all the cars lined up, guys. And then I do have a surprise to make this a little bit trickier. Move it or lose it, sister. Coming through, boys. We've got the surprise right here in this Caterpillar Excavator. We've got a bucket full of mud. And we're going to fill up both of these with a bunch of mud, boys. But the thing we got to do is we got to back up because we're going to just be swamping ourselves with mud. So we're going to back in. This thing is definitely big enough. Or we won't sink it. Well, here we go. Let's start the mud trail. Here we go. Oh, yeah. This is going to make it so much tougher. Here we go. Align this entire thing with mud. Oh, are we already empty? Hold on. There we go. Fill it back up. And okay, this side is good with mud. So now we can test it out and see how much more difficult it is when you've got mud. Because obviously there's some dirt, but it's not, not tough enough, I feel like. So that's why we added all this. But there we go. If we need to add more, we can. Okay, let's take the four-wheeler, the Can-Am here, and let's see if it's any more difficult. Here we go. Hit it, boys. Oh, no. Yeah, look at this thing. Come on. This is what I'm talking about. We're making it through. Look at the muds flying up, but it's not going above the water. Oh, we're sinking it. Look at the snorkel. Hit it. Hit it. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. We made that out. No problem. Well, these tires are pretty insane. We took the wrong entrance again. Okay, let's find out where we're supposed to go so that we know. I think we have to race around all the way through here. Maybe sneak through here. Oh, maybe not that. Hold on. Honestly, there's enough space through here for four-wheelers to get back through yeah there we go all right let's see if we can go back any faster that was about 20 second time and then let's hit it here three two one go mud bog oh my gosh this thing's jumping oh that was a pull let's start on this side see if it's any more easier obviously it is look at that this thing just flies oh backflip okay the last thing was the four wheeler that we thought was not gonna do good so we're gonna jump on this thing and let's see if it can prove itself if it does then we'll bring it to the races for sure and we actually we'll line it up we'll use the start feature again so that we know how much time we've got from when the first yellow goes there we go yellow 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 three green means go look at that all right hit it oh no oh no we're losing it we're losing it yeah this is definitely not going as good dodge and weave there we go we're turning the wheel it's helping it's helping there we go come on no way the little atv made it all right it proved itself. Gosh dang good American. All right, let's head on over back to the start line. That's going to be a wrap, guys, for the testing day at the new fun park. Obviously, we've got a lot more to explore to test out, and I feel like this is going to be a lot of fun. So if you guys want to see us come back here and do multiplayer races and have all of our friends out here, I think it'd be a ton of fun. So guys, make sure you do get subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out. And if you have any ideas down below what we could do at the drag strip or the mud park, or the racetrack here. Let me know down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.